we went to Gaza. Oh. The things that we do to one another. Uh, I had been appointed with a, a professor of human rights law uh, in London, appointed by the Human Rights Co uh, Council in Geneva to uh, be a, a, a commission, fact-finding commission about a, an at atrocity that had happened when 19 people were killed, um, including seven children, uh, in a place called Beit Hanun. And um, we eventually went, we had tried to get permission to go through Israel so that we could meet with uh, people on that side to hear from them uh, at first ten what had happened and we went to this place um, and one of the mothers spoke about how she had scooped up the brains of her baby uh, after the shells had fallen on the house and she rushed down in, into the street because she thought it would be safer there when she came uh, uh, up to her her son had had fallen um, and had been hit, and his 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 bowels were hanging outside. Uh, and she she says she told him, "No, my son, um, join your father and your brothers, who have become martyrs." Uh, and he scooped back his. Uh, pushed back his intestines, and, um, and then he died. Um, and we met with Hamas and told Hamas that uh, the shells they were firing at Steret in um, Israel were uh, as gross a violation of human rights as the, the killings of uh, uh, civilians by the Israeli Defense Force. Um, yeah, that's that's just one very very tough nut to crack. Then we went to Belfast, um, and um, it was a wonderful time because it was celebrating the 10th anniversary of the signing of the Good Friday Agreement. You, you will recall how the Northern Ireland uh, situation was almost intractable. Mm -hmm. Now, one of these incredible things that have happened when, when the whole place is almost turned up, upside down, to see an Ian Paisley, the rabid, rabid Protestant, um, joking and laughing with the IRA vice president. I mean, you, you, you have to pinch yourself and say, is this really happening? And it is happening. It has happened. It's, it's just an incredible thing not to see soldiers on the streets with, with their fingers on the, on, on the, on, on the trigger. Uh, and, and, and the place really just depressed and depressing. Now people walk upright and they are smiling. And it's just to say again to us, ultimately actually, there is no intractable situation. There's no situation that is totally hopeless.